So we're gonna check and see how you did. Okay, the goal was to take this setup, which was exactly the same setup that we used when we solved this first problem together, which now looks crazy, right? Um, so to take the same setup and try to solve this, not just using long division, but using a ratio table, which I'm gonna be honest with you, when I went to school and we did division, and I'm sure a lot of your parents can share this same theory that we, we had problems like this, 336 divided by eight, and we just solved it using the standard algorithm. We just solved it down here, 336 divided by eight, and that was it. Okay, so you guys are doing a whole nother, you're being asked to learn and explore a whole nother method and strategy. But I want you to know this. The way I think about it is math, there's different roads and different ways to get you thinking. Okay, this way that I learned when I was younger, that's one method and strategy. And that's awesome to know that. That is important. However, to get you thinking about numbers and how they work together and how you can double and how you can use ratio tables and how multiplication and division connect, I think it's important to, to explore this, okay? So I don't want you to be, you know, if this isn't your favorite thing, well, that's okay. Why don't you practice it and see how you like it, get, be open to it, but you know you can always go back to using this as well, okay? The long, the long division standard algorithm. Okay, so for this problem, um, reviewing it, so we have the dividend. So we said that the dividend's kind of like the total, and it's being split or divided or shared equally into eight groups. So the divisor tells us, okay, or sorry, into eights. Okay, so I when I did this before, when I think about it, okay, and for time's sake, I'm not gonna change colors. I'll just make my thought bubble orange. Okay, so when I think about it, I say, oh, it's kind of like, oh, here's one group of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, here's another group of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am making groups with eight in each, okay? And I have to use up my total. So, Right now, I just did two groups, and so I have a 16. But eventually, I want to use all of these and see how many groups will I have, okay? So that's really what we're solving for. So let's do that using a ratio table, okay? So for the ratio table, I know that, well, one group has eight in it. Okay, and I like to label. I'm going to I'm going to take the time to make sure I label. This is one group and eight in in it or inside or in each, okay? It has eight in each. Okay? So, one group has eight. I like to use that core four I talked about. So that means I'm gonna double it and try two. So remember, I multiply by two. So that means two groups, do the same thing to the bottom, multiply by two. Two groups has 16. I can actually see that from my picture I drew. One group has eight, two groups has 16. But whoa, I stopped drawing a picture there because eventually I am trying to figure out if I go to the end of my ratio table, somewhere down here, I am trying to figure out how many groups until I use up all 336? I am not drawing that picture. No way, no how. So I'm going to use this ratio table to kind of build up. Okay, so one group has eight, two groups has 16. The core four, we try one first, then two, then we try uh, four, and then we try 10. So let's just do that and see how it goes. So we tried one, we tried two. Let's try four. In order to try four, I can double this. So two times two is four, double this. 16 times two is 32. If you need to do that on the side, that would be fine. Now I'm gonna try 10. To try 10, because you can't double four, I go from the start here. One times 10 gets me 10. I go from the start here then. You do everything the same, keep it fair. Eight times 10 is 80. Okay, so those are the core four. I tried one, I tried two, I tried four, I tried 10. If you already did this and you did that right, awesome. If you didn't or you were stuck and you're using my video to help you out, well, that's okay. You can do it with me as well. 
Okay, so we try one, two, four, and 10. Now I realize, okay, I tried 10, I have 80. That means like I have 80 taken up out of the 336, but I've gotta go all the way to the 336. So, you know, we said before, it's kind of like a game, like you're getting hotter, you're getting colder, you're getting colder. You're... Right now I'm getting a little warmer, but I am not even close to where I need to be. So now I'm gonna start going building up more quickly. Um, an easy way, you can do it however you want, there's no perfect way, but I think, I thought about multiplying by 10. Well, what if I multiply this by 10? If I did, I'd get 100 here, and if I did, I'd get 800 here. Well, that's too much. I only wanna to build to 336, so hmm. I can't multiply by 10. You could multiply it by smaller things. For me, I feel like it was easier to just double again. Doubling 10 is 20, doubling 80 is 160. I know I'm not there yet, but it kind of builds quick because then I doubled again. Double 20, I get 40. Double 60, 160, sorry. Think about it, I'm doubling 160. So I actually use that two times 16 is 32 with a zero. Well, wait a minute, now I'm getting hot. I have 320 out of the 336. Huh, if you think about it, what do I need? How many do I still need? I need 16 more. Oh my goodness, I'm so close. Wait a minute, use your earlier work. How do you get, how do you get 16 more? Well, two groups. So wait, if I have 40 groups and I need to put two more groups in there, actually I didn't really need to make another one, 40 groups plus two more groups gets me 42 groups. 320 plus the extra 16 from, the, from those two groups gets me that extra 16 that I needed. So I just figured out what I think, or what I believe is the quotient. So I believe 336 divided by eight is 42. I would make 42, read it backwards like multiplication. I would make 42 groups of eight would make 336. The only thing, the last thing is, I don't just say, oh look, here's my answer, it's done, I did it. I like to feel more confident than that. So I am going to use my long division. Does eight go into three? No. Does eight go into 33? Yeah, you could use your multiples to find out. Eight, 16, 24, 32, and 40. Oh, 40 is too big. Eight went into 33, one, two, three, four times. And four times eight, when I did it, over here, it was 32. Subtract, you get one. I did that quick because I saw 33 minus 32. I just know that's one. Bring down my six. Eight goes into 16. Oh, yep, I see it here. It goes in two times, and two times eight is 16. Subtract, I get zero. I am done. I just confirmed, and it makes me, I don't know, as a mathematician, it makes me feel more confident. I just confirmed that 336 divided by eight is 42. Okay, so excellent job listening along. What you guys are going to do now is you're going to try one on your own. Okay, like I'm not gonna make a video. I'm not gonna make an answer video. I might put an answer picture up, but again, and I'm not gonna give you the problem yet, but it's going to be set up. So you're gonna need one more piece of paper. It's going to be set up the same way. The dividend divided by the divisor. It's going to have a quotient. You're going to make a ratio table. Okay, you're going to label your ratio table and somewhere down here, you're gonna have a nice spot to check your work. Okay, so I'll be sharing the problem. Um, I want you to try. I know you can always just solve this. You're like, Ms. Slacky, I already know this division. It's not about just the division, it's about the process, okay? So please try using the ratio table and out um, labeling it building as you go. One more thing I should say really quick. If you are checking your work with this and you're like, I didn't use these same numbers, but I got the same answer. That is okay. You can build it different ways. As long as you built up to 42 groups 
and 336 in each, okay? Some of you might have built up differently and that is okay. So do your best and I, um, you can email your teacher if you're struggling with this, okay? I'm hoping the videos help you feel more confident.